episode 90, take four. Let's talk about a topic that as an ex-camera assistant is near and dear to my heart. Organization. It's a huge and often overlooked part of film production, but guaranteed it's something that you'll need to be good at in any facet of production. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you need to be organized to be as efficient as you possibly can on set. Now, everyone kind of organizes themselves a little bit differently depending on what they do. As an ex-camera assistant, I kind of take the camera assistant's approach, but I'm obviously shooting now. So there's a little bit of a difference as to what I've got here and it does change depending on the job, but I'll go through how I pack my two bags that are almost always a constant. Let's start with the kit bag. Now, this is a staple for any camera assistant assistant. As a camera assistant, I had a large bag and a smaller kit bag like this, which was more of a, a go bag. So it stayed close to the camera and had the essentials inside. Around the edges in all the little pockets, I've got cleaning equipment, tools, pencils, pens, markers, scissors, my Leatherman. All of those little things that could be easily lost or broken stay in those side pockets. The style of this bag is a doctor style bag. So it's very rigid and it's got a big opening at the top, which can be zipped up if you want to, I tend to just leave it open. Doctor's bags are great like this because they've got such a rigid base to them. You can put pretty much anything in the middle and you can still see everything that's in the bag. This means things don't get easily lost. So in the center of the bag, I have a couple of different pouches that I use for camera accessories that need to be close by. Usually I've got one in there for batteries, depending on the size of the battery. If they're V-Locks, I tend to just put them in there and stack them in there neatly. Otherwise, if I'm using the Pocket 6K, I am using some smaller batteries, so they tend to go into one of these little packs here. And I do the same with the mags for the camera as well. Now these sort of pouches you can find quite easily in your local adventure store or anywhere online that sells adventure equipment or travel equipment. They're just packing cells for luggage and they work really well for film, especially the ones with the clear fronts to them because you can see everything that's inside. I still pop little labels on mine just because I'm not the only one touching the equipment. If my assistant needs to know and isn't familiar with the kit, they can easily see where things go and where things belong. These are by far the best way to organize your gear because on set, let's face it, most sets are quite dimly lit and it's very easy to lose things in the bottom of the bag. The amount of times that I have returned equipment to a rental house and I've gone home with a couple of cards or that one piece, that one accessory, and it was stashed at the bottom of my bag by accident. Do as I say and not as I do. So having these little packing cells inside the bag makes things a little bit easier to see and everything has its place. There are a lot of similarities between this bag and the next bag I'm gonna talk about, which is the Temba Cinelux Roller 21. When I was looking for a bag for the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, I was looking for something that was going to be easily changed, easily modifiable because I knew that the Pocket 6K had a weird shape and it was gonna be difficult to find a bag that suited it well. Tenba came to the rescue. This is a perfect bag for this camera because it is so modular. Again, it is a doctor style bag, so it opens right up and you can see everything at a glance without taking anything else out. There's no lids, there's no flaps, there's nothing like that to get in the way and you're taking up much less of a footprint. It's a slim and a light design. It's carry-on size as well. I took this all the way to Perth and I was able to take it on the plane and that was on one of the strictest airlines for carry-on. It comes with a bunch of dividers, so I'm able to change around the configuration if I need to in the future, but right now, the configuration that I've got in there works for me. The saving grace of this bag and why it's so useful for the Pocket 6K or any other awkwardly shaped camera is it's got one large divider that's bendable. So I was able to mold that into the shape that I needed and I'm able to keep the 6K mostly rigged up. The only things that I have to take off are the top handle and of course the monitor, which I would do anyway. I can leave the tripod base plate, I can leave the rails on, I can leave the handle on, everything else fits. I can even leave the lens and the matte box on. But everything on top just makes it a little bit too high. So I just take those off the top and then I'm able to easily find a safe spot in the bag for those accessories. The bag also came with a couple of equipment wraps, which are versatile wraps that you can use for pretty much anything that fits inside. So I use one of those for the monitor and the monitor stays safe in the bag. Not only do I like to be organized, but I like to be mobile and compact. And both these bags fit that bill perfectly. With the Tenda, it's got wheels, so I don't need to strain my back carrying it around everywhere. But if I do need to carry it, it's 
actually not that bad. It's got padded handles and the bag itself is light. So the amount of equipment that you put in there obviously will contribute to that, but it doesn't seem to be too uncomfortable to lift and move. As for the kit bag, it's small enough, it's light enough. It's got everything I need in it. If you're an assistant, you'd probably have another bag as well, but still having something that is compact and light to be next to the camera is perfect. Organization to me is for the purpose of efficiency. And it's important for me to be very efficient on set, to be able to keep to time, to be able to get things done quickly and be on my feet the whole day. And the key similarities between the Timber bag and my kit bag, like the fact that it's a doctor style bag opening, no flaps, no lids, nothing like that. The footprint is very small. You can see everything inside the bag is rigid. Nothing's gonna get lost because I've got dividers and I've got packing cells to keep everything nice and neat and visible at a glance. Everything about these two bags makes my organization just that little bit easier. So I think choosing the right style of bag and the right accessories to help you is a really important part of organization. Hope you enjoyed the video today. It is a short one. I just wanted to show you how I organize things because everybody does it that little bit differently. And this sort of thing would have interested me when I was just starting out, trying to work out the best way to organize stuff. And almost every time I go on set, I work out another way to do something. Somebody else has their bag set up slightly differently and I think it's perfect. And I take that idea and I apply it to my own. So it's constantly evolving, constantly changing. It's always interesting to see how other people do it. What are your little tips for keeping organized on set? Doesn't have to be on set either. It can be any job that you do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you later.